Sketchy. Hello. Welcome back to my iPad screen. This is Josh. Today I'm drawing Nicodemus from Don Bluth's The Secret of Nim. Wonderful animated film from the 80s. I think maybe the best regarded of, of Bluth's uh, films, although he's got a lot of classics. You know, there was always this kind of vibe back then, at least when I was younger, that that Bluth was kind of this, uh, in, in Disney's shadow, that it was this kind of ersatz uh, animation studio. But boy, that I don't think that's true at all. I think that the, the films are wonderful. They speak for themselves in quality and, and the design and the, the vibrancy and uh, quality of the animation. But also just that, the you know, what a career Don Bluth has had. He's still, he's still kicking. He's still teaching animation and uh, that he was able to get so many films made uh, it's, it's an amazing achievement just because he doesn't have theme parks and you know, media empire uh, in addition to the animated films that's that's not a fair comparison anyway uh, this is just uh, a joy if you like character design and animation design a, char a character like Nicodemus that has this much fine detail this much uh, you know, as many lumps and and uh, twists and this much hair and, and uh, these bony knuckles that I'm going to start drawing here in a moment. Uh, just an absolute pleasure to draw a character like this. This is what I want to draw if I want to draw a cartoon. I want to draw some kind of a cool-looking anthropomorphic animal. Um, and this is just one of the one of the best here. So... I uh, wasn't sure, you know, this is kind of just blind. I, I, of course, I have source material, and I'm sticking fairly close to it because I want to invoke the movie specifically, but I'm not, I'm not getting, uh, I'm not being pixel perfect to the, uh, to the subject. Made a few changes to the, 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 the way the mustache falls and the way the fingers are kind of interlaced. But uh, I just wanted it to be recognizable, and I want to, you know, I'm always shooting for that, moment of, of uh, recognition, those uh, endorphins you get from looking at something that you like. That's why I do this for myself, and then I share it with other people. And then there's some other mystery step, and then there's the, uh, you know, the monetization step after that. I'm still working on that middle step. So I believe I've included the entire... Um, colorization process in this time lapse sorry sometimes there's a gap between when I pump these out and then when I actually get around to narrating the idea originally was that I would talk live while I drew and that immediately <laughs> that immediately became uh, it became clear that that wasn't going to work oh yeah this was going to be a black and white sketch and then I I just was like ah keep going and I, I colored it in but yeah I, I my I wanted to just do live drawing videos that seemed like that would be fun and, and an obvious a uh, cool thing to do on YouTube, but I just can't do it. I have to concentrate on the drawing, and I have nothing interesting to say. So I hit upon this. Not only does this help, because I can create, you know, I, I'm not posting 90-minute videos of me drawing. I know people enjoy that, but I just, uh, I, my my vision for this was to create kind of these quick bites. Quick bites. Wow, that's a great name. Maybe I should uh, consider naming my uh, platform. Never mind. Um but yeah, so it kind of works out well that I get to do, you know, you employ the time lapse and then I can do the kind of post-mortem narration where I've got some perspective on it and I can focus on what I want to say, which, you know, whatever, it's not always, <laughs> I do my best. Uh, but just what a treat. I really like, I've, I've kind of pivoted, you'll see in the upcoming weeks, um, that I've pivoted hard into animation art. Uh, with these, with my drawings, I'll, I'll go back to portraits. I'm sure I'm still obsessed with that. But for right now, I'm doing a lot of Disney and a lot of animation, and um, even some other weird surprises that you'll see soon. But uh, the animation art is back. I feel like, and and uh, I really enjoy being as precise as I can to the design with the drawing, but then bringing it into my style and and doing the color like this. And also, uh, I'm more likely, much more likely to polish and color a picture if it's animation art than if it's a portrait. I, I kind of prefer my portraits in that black and white line art mode, 
but I, it's hard to resist taking a, a, an animated character like this and producing a finished, polished piece of colored art. And it's always interesting, too, once you start actually having to make decisions about color and stuff like this, where, you know, that his beard looks pretty darn white if you just passingly look at a still or an image of the character. But then when you, you know, when you want it to all come together and look right, you discover uh, there should be an off-white color. And then when you, you take some shots and you realize just how uh, how much color there actually is in that area. And I tried to do the, the glow on Nicodemus's eye here. I, you, I don't know how successful it is, but I felt like it had to be there because he's got those cool glowy eyes. Okay, bye.